welcome to this tutorial how to create your own stock footage like in Action Essentials 2. First of all you need to drag your clip, the clip you want to edit in your favorite editing programs timeline. I use Motion 5 but you can also use Adobe After Effects and uh, yeah, other programs you yeah. need. First of all, drag the original clip you want to use into your timeline. I named it Molotov Original. I used a video from the Slow Mo guys with a Molotov cocktail. And the first step you need is to duplicate the layer and rename it, yeah, Molotov Copy. Move that under and now you select in the case of Motion 5 retiming and hold frame and just drag it to the first frame so uh, as you see it will be only the first frame which is seen all the time and the most important thing about it is that the frame has to be without the explosion or the thing you want to cut out in my case this explosion you can't see it if you make the layer invisible and the second step is to go to the preferences and set a blend mode of the Molotov original video to difference. So you see, the difference is what is different to the other clip. And here is it is without the uh, explosion. And now with the explosion you only see the explosion. The black parts are cut out, they are transparent. Um, yeah it's not perfect yet. You can see still here some ugly ugly stones in the background but it's pretty good. It's better than this one. So for now it's enough and we proceed to the second step after rendering this sequence. So I click share or export and I will render this scene. So this is the clip we just created. The black parts are transparent. So you only see this. And as I said, here are some bricks left, but we will s go to the second step and make that bricks away. So I go to my desktop, select the video and drag it into my timeline. You can delete the other videos you don't need them anymore and now we have the clip selected you choose keying and the keyer so now if you have the keyer you choose as a sample color the blacks as you see it's pretty good already you nearly only have the flames and one thing you can do to make the for example here the window going away you can expand or shrink it a little bit and if you shrink it it will be a little bit less so I will put it to about minus 0 0.5 yeah that's okay as you see you have only the flames left and the black background is just transparent as I show you you can test it with a solid, I made a white solid and if I move this layer above, maybe make that a little bit higher, yeah, okay, actually it looks better you still see some bricks in the fire but that's not so the problem because it's not perfect but if you can't shoot your, your own footage it's the best way to do it and if you render this just this way and the most important thing in motion is you have the background to transparent no solid transparent so it's here the yeah you can see it here and now you choose export and you render it and I will show you the final result and give you the download link in the description below now we are back in motion and I dragged in my footage you probably see no difference but if we put any image or something else 
under it you see it's transparent and yeah, and totally keyed out so yeah as you can see you have a very nice effect it's like the effects from video copilot from action essentials and if you can't make it transparent background and you have to use the black footage you just set the blending mode of the black footage to multiply and the black areas will be cut out so it will be perfectly keyed out and you should be happy with this thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and greetings from germany